Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So Potted was kind enough to send me one of their air dry clay kits to try out and so for today's video I'm going to show with you guys two projects I made using this kit. So let's get started. Okay guys, so what comes in the Potted Home Pottery Kit is a quick start guide and this gives you a bunch of different clay tips and then they give you ideas on things to make and instructions on how to make them. It also comes with a base coat, a gloss varnish, you get two paint brushes, some clay tools, paints, and two packages of air dry clay. For this first project, I'm going to make a Barbie inspired cowgirl hat incense holder. So grab some clay and roll it out. Using a glass, I'm going to trace out a circle for the base of the hat. And then I'm going to blend out the edges with some water and you could use your fingers or you could use a sponge. Grabbing some more clay, I'm going to work on the top part of the cowgirl hat and so I'm going to make a short cylinder shape. Make sure to blend out any lines in the clay if you have any like I do. And then I'm very slightly going to taper one side. The top part of my hat naturally got a little dip in there, which is fine because that's what I wanted. So if you don't have one, add a little dip in there with your finger because cowgirl hats kind of like indent on the top by themselves. Next, I'm going to attach the top part of the hat to the bottom of the hat by scoring the clay. To help this attach a little bit better, I'm rolling out a coil of clay and then I'm going to wrap that around the hat and blend it in using a modeling tool. You should end up with something that looks like this and then I'm going to blend everything out a little bit more with some water. Once again, I'm rolling out another coil of clay really thin this time. Now I'm flattening it out with my finger. I'm adding some water onto the hat to make it tacky and then I'm going to attach that coil of clay on the hat so that we have our band on there. Using an incense stick, I'm going to poke it into the middle of our cowgirl hat and make sure that it stands up straight or to the side however you want and then move it around just the tiniest bit because air dry clay does shrink and we want our incense stick to still be able to go into the hat once it's dry. So now I'm going to curve up the edges of the hat a little bit and if your clay can't stand up by itself, you can use like little paint brushes to help it stay up. Anyways, I'm going to let this dry for a couple of days. All right, so here's our cowgirl hat dry and now I'm going to prime this with the base coat. And since Barbie's cowgirl hat is white, I'm going to keep this hat white. I'm using the pink paint that comes in the kit for the band. And then Barbie's hat had like little stars around the band and I thought I had some but I couldn't find them. So I just ended up adding rhinestones all around the band. Lastly, I'm going to seal this with Potted's Gloss Varnish. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so our second air dry clay project we're gonna be making is a candle holder. Grab a huge chunk of clay and roll it out into a thick coil, and then I'm very slightly gonna flatten it out. I made mine a little bit too long, so I'm gonna trim off a little bit off of the ends. And then I'm gonna attach it to make it look like a donut, and I'm gonna blend the clay into itself. Smooth out any bumps or cracks in the clay with some water. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm gonna set that to the side, and now we're gonna work on the bottom part of the candle holder. And for this part, I'm gonna shape the clay to look like a half circle. So something like this, and then make sure that you smooth out the clay. I'm ever so slightly going to flatten out the top of the circle and then I'm going to attach the donut that we made to the top of our circle. I'm rolling out some more clay to make the candle holder like stem. I'm going to place a candle on the clay and then wrap the clay around it. Make sure you wiggle the candle in there to make the hole just a little bit bigger because this will shrink once it dries. This candle holder stem we made was just a little bit longer than I needed it to be so I'm going to cut it a little shorter and then I'm just going to make sure to smooth everything out. I'm adding some water to the top of the donut to make it sticky and then I'm going to attach the stem to the rest of our candle holder by scoring the clay. And to make sure that the stem really sticks onto the body of the candle holder, I rolled out a coil of clay and I'm wrapping it around the stem and the donut and then I'm going to blend everything in together using the modeling tool. I'm checking one more time that the candle can fit inside of the candle holder. And yeah, I like this, so now I'm gonna let this dry. All right guys, so here's our candle holder dry. And I'm painting this with the mint color that came inside Potted's kit. And this is a really pretty mint color, but on camera it's coming off a little bit greener than it actually is. It's like a true mint. Anyways, I'm going to speckle this with some white paint. And my speckles are super tiny. You can only see them if you like really look at it closely. And then lastly, I painted some flowers on this. And you can seal this if you want to, but I decided not to. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment and subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!